There are many species in the white oak group. And one of my favorites is an oak that is found growing in wetlands and is known for its good looks and growth habit. Its adaptability to varied soil conditions when grown in cultivation, the high wildlife value of its acorns, and its distinctive two-toned leaves that are the basis for its scientific name. This super awesome member of the white oak group is the swamp white oak Quercus bicolor, which has a range that is mainly in the upper two-thirds of the eastern United States, where it can be found growing in lowlands, swamps, and moist slopes with mucky or peaty organic soils. It can handle wet soil, but cannot handle continuous flooding. Swamp white oak is a medium-sized oak and will grow to be 50 to 75 feet tall with a 40 to 70 foot crown spread. Swamp white oak usually has a single trunk and an irregularly shaped crown that may have a ragged appearance. Upper branches will be ascending or growing upwards, and the lower branches will be descending or drooping towards the ground. If you love to learn about awesome native trees like the swamp white oak, be sure to pollinate that like button. Swamp white oak leaves are three to seven inches long by one and a quarter to four inches wide, oblong in shape, and tend not to vary much in their general shape. They are widest just past the middle, towards the tip, and will be either coarsely toothed or shallowly and regularly lobed with five to seven lobes per side. Each lobe or tooth will have a vein running to its tip. Leaves are shiny deep green above and bright whitish below. The lower leaf surface is covered with dense, white, velvety hairs. Fall color can be variable shades of brown, yellow, and red. Bark is dark gray to almost black, becomes scaly or flaky with age, and has pronounced flattened ridges and deep furrows. Swamp white oak acorns vary in size from around half an inch to a little over an inch long, are oblong, and have caps that cover one third to half of the nut. Caps have tight gray to brown scales and are covered with fine hairs. Some caps will be slightly fringed along the edge. Acorns form on a long stalk and ripen to a light to dark brown and start to drop in September and October when they are eagerly sought out by wildlife and birds, including waterfowl. Key features to identify swamp white oak in the field are the bicolored, toothed, or shallowly lobed leaves that are velvety on the lower surface, the long stalk that the acorns form on, and the wetland conditions swamp white oak is normally found growing in. There are several species that may cause confusion when identifying swamp white oak. Mainly bur oak, Quercus macrocarpa, which has a much larger acorn with a very noticeable and distinctive fringe on the cap, has deeply lobed leaves, and also has winged twigs. The overcup oak, Quercus lyrata, which has deeply lobed leaves, and an acorn that has a cap that covers two-thirds or more of the nut. The swamp chestnut oak, Quercus mishoii, which has similarly shaped leaves, but the underside is rusty to yellowish with a felt-like texture, and the chinkapin oak, Quercus muhlenbergii, which sometimes has leaves with a whitish underside, but has fine, non-velvety hairs. I would like to take a second to thank everybody who has supported the channel by subscribing. I really do appreciate it, and it does let me know that the content I am creating is reaching the audience it is meant for. I would also like to give a super huge thank you to all those who support the channel financially through our Patreon, PayPal Donate, and YouTube Super Thanks. The channel would not be possible without you, and we here at Backyard Ecology are truly thankful for you. If you would like to join them in their support of Backyard Ecology, our Patreon and PayPal Donate are linked in the description, and you can give through YouTube Super Thanks by clicking the heart with the dollar sign icon right below this video. Thanks again for the support. The white oaks are important timber trees, and the lumber harvested from them is used in a wide variety of ways, including cross ties, framing lumber, furniture and cabinetry, flooring, decking, fence posts, and mine timbers. The wood of some species is especially important in the making of staves for wooden barrels, and to a much lesser extent, at least these days, in ship and boat building. White oak wood is excellent for barrels and ships due to the cellular structure of the wood containing tyloses, balloon-like outgrowths of cells which block the xylem in the heartwood, making white oak essentially waterproof. Swamp white oak is a long-lived species, and trees have been aged that are 350 years old. The wood is strong and high quality and is an important forest product. 
Swamp white oak is also quite adaptable to various soils and cultivation, which has led it to be used in landscaping, and it can often be seen growing in parks, public spaces, and even yards. It was given the scientific name bicolor due to its strikingly two-toned leaves. Swamp white oak isn't the only member of the white oak group that can be found growing in wetlands. In fact, one of the oddest members of the white oak group thrives in often flooded areas. This odd white oak is the aptly named overcup oak, Quercus lyrata, which gets its common name from its distinctive acorns. And you can learn all about it in this video, and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.